Hello lads, if you can hear me over the wind, I'm checking in from Brahehus in Östra Götaland in Sweden. Absolutely magic place, you can see the extra material I've filmed here, shot some with the drone as well. Behind us we have the sacred lake of Vetten, and uh, you probably can't see it, but there is Visings Ö as well, which I will show a bit more of later. Absolutely aesthetic, rocking the Royal Fleur de Lis t-shirt to uh, optimize the gloriousness of this occasion so again this camera this uh, video material it doesn't quite do justice to exactly how epic this scene is but uh, this, this uh, magic place so uh, yeah here we are good stuff good times Brahe Hus was built by Per Brahe the Younger in 1637 Per Brahe the Younger was the grandson of Per Brahe the Older, hence the distinction. He served under the great Gustavus Adolphus during the Thirty Years' War. He also served as General Governor of Finland. Alright, so I'm actually checking in from the oak forest I mentioned in a recent video. So during the 1800s, the Swedish crown wanted oak forests to uh, build ships and they planted a lot of them in Visingsö here in Vetten. And uh, of course now they are ripe for harvest, but you don't really build ships in oak anymore. But they have other uses. But uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Low time preference. Now I am checking in from the castle of Visingsö. This particular castle was actually built during the 1500s by the powerful Brahe family. Same Brahe as uh, I just showed on the other side of the lake, so the, um, the mainland in Östergötland. Now the lake itself, or the island, has always been quite important because it's central. It's in between Östergötland and Västergötland. And back in the day, the two Götalands, so um, Gothlands, they were more um, civilized or advanced than uh, Svealand, so, so that's where Stockholm is today, Svealand. Uh, and uh, since it was in between Västra Götaland, Western Gothland and the eastern part, it was um, a strategic position to take, so um, that's also why this island was um, smack bang in the middle of it all. So we're gonna get a closer look at the castle. Come along, my dear subscribers. This is top quality historical content I'm bringing you straight from the ground. So, here we are. Look at that magnificent hall. I will actually film it directly. Alright, so perhaps it doesn't look so impressive on the video, but um, yeah, it looks cool enough from here at least. So yeah, I will have a little look around and see, um, absorb its uh, sense of historical destiny. Behind me we have Alvastra Klosterruin, ruins of a monastery erected in 11 by some French monks and he had a prosperous monastery here up until the Protestant Reformation in the 1500s and um, it was a similar story as happened in England that when the king, in our case Gustav Vasa, Gustav I of Sweden, he needed some some additional financial gains and of course the monasteries had quite a bit of accumulated wealth so he dismantle them for better or worse. <laughs> 